Want to date a race car driver? An actor? A model? How about someone with royal lineage? If you somehow get in the good graces of these singles, you might get two in one. According to his official website, the 28-year-old unmarried heir to the throne of Jordan was named after his grandfather, the late King Hussein bin Talal, the founder of modern-day Jordan. Prince Hussein bin Abdullah attended the King's Academy and later earned a university degree in international history from Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. in 2016. The Crown Prince also completed training at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in the UK in 2017. He holds the rank of captain in the Jordanian Armed Forces. According to Emirates Woman, not only does Prince Hussein bin Abdullah enjoy hobbies including reading and football, but he also gives back through his charity, the Crown Prince Foundation. His Hearing Without Borders initiative focuses on providing hearing-impaired children with cochlear implants as well as training, rehab, and education. Prince Hussein is also an advocate for youth empowerment. At just 20 years old, he chaired a UN Security Council meeting, making him the youngest person to ever do so. He also spoke at the World Economic Forum about the struggles of young people in the Middle East. Singles looking for a royal with a need for speed will want to check out 25-year-old Austrian race car driver Ferdinand von Habsburg. According to the Royals official website, Habsburg had already entered in his first international racing championship at age 13. The Royal has no mention of a significant other in his bio, so it's safe to assume that this Salzburg native is indeed an eligible royal bachelor. According to a 2020 interview with the Tatler, the heir to the House of Habsburg has a strong work ethic that impressed three-time Formula One world champion Niki Lauda, who said, He is a very intelligent boy who is not resting on his celebrity laurels, but does his work seriously and is ambitious. My family was really good at doing one thing and doing mm. it great. and. That's sort of what I want to do." Habsburg stated that his love for driving started with his father's passion for fast cars. Growing up, the royal tried other sports, such as riding and basketball, and was also Austria's national fencing champion. At the time of the interview, he was a part of the Belgian Audi Sports WRT racing team. The Queen's 26-year-old grand-nephew, Samuel Chado, is said to be quite the heartthrob. According to the South China Morning Post, he's the son of British actor Daniel Chado and Lady Sarah Chado, who is the only daughter of Princess Margaret, Queen Elizabeth's sister. Chado is currently 29th in line to the throne. He supposedly recently split from his longtime girlfriend, Sophie Pipe, after dating for more than four years. Chado attended the University of Edinburgh and received a degree in art history in 2018. He also has his own home studio in West Wessex, where he makes pottery. In 2018, Chado completed a six-week apprenticeship at North Shore Pottery in Scotland. If that's not enough to get your heart racing, Chado is also a professional yoga instructor. In 2019, he went to India and completed more than 200 hours of training over six weeks. According to Insider, 23-year-old Prince Constantine Alexios of Greece and Denmark was born in New York City and was raised in England. The Greek monarchy was abolished in 1973, so this prince won't be ascending to any throne. Still, Alexios definitely knows how to live a lifestyle fit for royalty, going on lavish vacations and hunting trips. For his 18th birthday celebration, Alexios threw a Day of the Dead-themed party at the private and pricey members-only club Alberts in the Chelsea area of London. This young royal attended Wellington College in England and Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. His friends refer to him by the nickname Tino. His family is also very friendly with the British royals, SCMP notes that his godfather is Prince William, who attended Prince Constantine Alexios's christening at the Greek Orthodox Cathedral of St. Sophia in London in 1999. The 22-year-old Prince Achilles Andreas of Greece and Denmark is Prince Constantine Alexios's brother and is reportedly also on the market. If the Greek monarchy still existed, Prince Achilles Andreas would have been third in line to the throne. But Prince Achilles Andreas is on his own remarkable path. He has dabbled in acting and even starred in a few episodes of the soap opera The Bold and the Beautiful. And you've been around, exposed to the finer things in life? I suppose, yes. His mother, Crown Princess Marie Chantal, was thrilled with her son's acting debut and even shared the news on Instagram. SCMP also notes that Andreas has worked as a model and was featured in a campaign for the luxury brand Zadig and Voltaire. News 24 noted in 2021 that Lady Amelia Windsor had turned to the celebrity dating site Raya in hopes of finding a new romance. A more recent report from 7 News stated that she still appeared to be single. Lady Amelia is the youngest child of George Windsor, the Earl of St. Andrews. She is also the granddaughter of the Queen's first cousin, the Duke of Kent. 
Her royal relations make Amelia 43rd in line to the throne. Unlike those closer in succession, Lady Amelia doesn't have to follow the same extensive royal protocols. So she has opted to pursue modeling, signing to the London modeling agency Storm. She also frequently attends fashion events and ceremonies decked out in Chanel and Dior, as reported by 7 News. In an interview with W Magazine, Lady Amelia declared her love for London fashion and spoke about finding inspiration from others in the industry. Windsor is also ecologically minded. According to 7 News, in 2021, she sold items from her wardrobe and donated the proceeds to the Cross River Gorilla Project. Located on the island of Borneo, Brunei is one of the world's wealthiest countries. Prince Abdul Mateen's father, Sultan Hassanal Bolkiah, has a stunning net worth of $28 billion, according to SCMP. Prince Abdul Mateen is a big fan of sports, with his favorite activities including polo, snorkeling, skydiving, golf, horseback riding, skiing, boxing, and rowing. He's also a trained pilot who has received the RAF wing badge and a soldier, having earned the rank of second lieutenant in 2011 from the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in the UK. Mateen is also an animal lover who owns white tiger cubs and ocelots. The prince's animals are regularly featured on his Instagram. Alexander Charles Ogilvie is the grandson of the Queen's cousin, Princess Alexandra, and 54th in line to the throne. He was previously said to be in a relationship with the granddaughter of Robert Kennedy, but the pair appear to have parted ways sometime in 2017. Ogilvie also recently appeared as an eligible bachelor searching for romance on the series Proof of Love. What are you looking for tonight? Oh, eternal love. According to his LinkedIn profile, Ogilvie double majored at Brown University in Rhode Island, where he studied from 2016 to 2020. Town and Country notes that Ogilvie is not a working royal and therefore doesn't make frequent appearances at royal events. However, he does typically attend the annual Trooping the Color event. Ogilvie's low-profile status also extends to his social media. His Instagram is private, so those hoping to catch some glimpses of this royal bachelor in his day-to-day -day life are out of luck. Indian law does not officially recognize Padmanabh Singh's official title as Maharaja of the city of Jaipur, but his title is still considered well-respected. With all these traditions and culture, they're still alive and in full glory. According to Insider, the royal lives quite the enviable lifestyle, traveling the world, studying in places like New York City and Rome, and amassing a fortune estimated at anywhere between $697 million to $2.8 billion as of 2020. In addition to his other pursuits, Singh also loves to play polo and has a serious passion for fashion. Singh has worked as a model and walked in runway shows, including Dolce & Gabbana's show in Milan, Italy in 2018. In an interview with the Indian Express's Indulge, Singh opened up about his life and passions. The Maharaja stated that his life's journey has been a great and challenging experience. The Indian royal also spoke about how his fascination with polo initially grew from his love for horses. He also discussed his style, saying that while he keeps an open mind, I like to keep my style statement simple. The fashionable Princess Siriwanavari of Thailand appears to be a royal bachelorette. According to SCMP, the only daughter of the Thai king and queen is one seriously multi-talented royal. The princess has her own fashion line called Siriwanavari, which has been internationally recognized since she showed her debut collection to Pierre Balma in 2007. The princess is also a prize-winning equestrian who initially began riding when she was just nine years old. Princess Siri Wanavari has trained in France and is skilled at dressage, eventing, and jumping. As noted by SCMP, she even competed in the 2013 Southeast Asian Games as a member of the Thai equestrian team. The princess was also a professional badminton player and was on the national team, with her crew winning the gold at the 2005 Southeast Asian Games in the Philippines. She even has a badminton tournament named after her, the Princess Siri Wanavari Thailand Masters. According to SCMP, this unmarried young princess and heir apparent to the Belgian throne is pretty darn smart. She attended UWC Atlantic College in Wales and earned her international baccalaureate. As of 2021, Princess Elizabeth was poised to attend Lincoln College at Oxford in England, where she planned to major in history and politics. The Belgian heir has also completed her one-year military training at the Royal Military Academy Belgium in Brussels. According to the Indian Express, Princess Elizabeth is skilled at shooting, marching, and camouflage techniques. Additionally, she takes her future job as queen very seriously. The outlet notes that the princess has already been assisting with royal duties, even joining her mother, Queen Matilda, in Kenya on a humanitarian mission to aid refugees. More recently, the young princess performed her first public engagement without her parents, christening the country's new research ship, the RV Belgica. 